Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I'm great. I am back today with another Dollar Tree haul as usual and I found some pretty cool things. Did you guys see what was in my thumbnail? And please tell me if they have had these there and I just never noticed them until now. They are the puff paint. I don't know if you guys remember this. Back probably 20 years ago or more, these this was all the rage. It was decorating everything, baseball caps, shirts, whatever, t-shirts with this puff paint. I've never noticed this in the store until now, and I think I got every color that they had. I thought this would be really fun when the grandkids are around. I'm going to start looking for t-shirts, you know, in all their size ranges, and we're going to play with some puff paint. And I call it puff paint. What do they call it? This is 3D fabric paint by the brand BU. It is distributed by Greenbrier. So I picked up, I think these were all the colors. I got green, red, white. This one is blue. This one is purple. You, it is different. There's a blue and a purple. They may look similar on screen, but they are different. A really bright pink yellow and black and I think these are all the colors I can't even hold them all guys that's one two three four five six seven eight so I think I got them all we're just gonna have some fun with 3d paint puff paint at least I think that's what it is and the directions say pre-wash fabric no fabric softener shake well hold tip to surface and squeeze gently. Let dry flat for four hours. Fabric can be washed after 72 hours. But this was all the rage back in the day. So I think the grandkids are gonna get a kick out of that. They're gonna, they'll have fun with this. So I'm gonna put that away, put it in down in my craft room and find some, find some t-shirts next. Let me see, which way should I go here? I only have a couple food items. I needed some Italian dressing and there's no point in me buying a really big thing of Italian dressing because it's just me that eats it. Hubby is a ranch guy. So they had these nice little bottles of the craft. Zesty Italian, eight ounces. Let me see if there is a best buy. They're always hard to see the best buy on these. The best buy is November of 23. So I just picked up one. I actually needed it. I finished off the bottle of rant, or, um, Italian that I had in the fridge. So I'm going to go ahead and have that. And then they had the Toastums in strawberry. I know this is some of the grandkids' favorites is the strawberry. I myself like the chocolate Toastums, which I cannot find in the Dollar Tree anymore. I have to go to um, Family Dollar to get those. But they had strawberry this time and a whole bunch of it. So we picked up one just for when the grandkids are here and you get six in here and it's 10.2 ounce. So I'm going to put that on the shelf for when the grandkids are around. I believe this is London's favorite. Maybe, maybe Harper's too. Let me see, which way should I go? That's all the food items, guys. I saw these. I think I picked up one of these with bugs a little while back. This time they had the princesses. These are the Crayola brand, and they're, it's a felt sheet. I don't know if you can see it very well through the packaging. This looks like a castle, and it has all the little princesses that you can just play with on the, on the big felt sheet. And there's also a little, I don't know if you can see it very well, but there's a crown, another crown, a magic wand, or princess wand. There's some little, little gems on here. I just thought that would be really fun. And keep these in your purse. Keep them in the, the travel bag, the diaper bag. Easy, non-messy fun for the little ones. You know, if you're in a restaurant waiting for your food, I think I said that a while back, have something like this handy. They don't take up much room, you know, in your purse. You can even bend it and give them something to do while they wait. Cute. I, did, I thought this was adorable. So we'll see which one of the grandkids wants that or if it ends up going in the Toys for Tots bin. And yes, I have a Toys for Tots bin already going and there are already many, many things in it. So I am happy about that. 
And then another thing for the kids that I saw, and I just, I couldn't pass them up. You know, what do you do with these little things? I don't know, but they're just adorable. We are donut people in this house. And if you watch Allison's videos, you know that they are donut people as well. And they had these cute little donut stuffies. They're just adorable. I picked up two. Look at their little faces. Look how cute. So I don't know if these are going to go in their little Valentine gift bags or if they will go in for Easter, but they're just cute. And then there's this little milkshake guy. His straw got kind of messed up in the bag, but that's all right. Has a little cherry on top, some whipped cream. Not, I guess it's a girl, but look how cute they are. And look, she even has a little kiss mark on her cheek. But I couldn't pass them by. And they had several different things as well. But these were the two that I thought were the cutest. So those are going to go in the grandkids. Little, little gifts. I know my grandson won't want these. So I'm not getting one for him. I do have another one of these somewhere. Because I picked up four. I got two of these and two of these. So I'm not sure where the other one of these got off to. That's for the four granddaughters the grand ladies. And then I needed some boring garbage bags. I was like almost completely out after the holidays. So now I'm just trying to stock up. These are my favorite and they are still in the stores with 15 bags. So keep an eye out for that. Sometimes you'll see 15, sometimes you'll see 12 and they're all mixed together. So watch for the 15, get a better, better deal if you can. And I just, I pick these up all the time, the lemon, but they really don't they really don't have much fragrance to them, and I believe they also come in maybe lavender. It doesn't matter to me really, but I'm a lemon girl, so I see the lemons on the box. So I have to pick it up. This says three bags free, good scents, made in the USA, and these are just the regular 13 gallon. I buy them quite often. Another thing for the kids that I'm just going to put in there, probably Easter baskets. They have all the Polo brand socks out again all different funky prints. These are the high like knee socks. And I just thought these would be fun. And these are for adult ladies. These are size five through nine. And you know, it fits a bigger foot. This one is just crazy wild purple leopard print, really fuchsia pink on there. And then this one is unicorns, pink sock with unicorns. And there are um stars and clouds on it as well. And then the like turquoise on the heel and toe. This has the fuchsia pink on the heel and toe. I just thought these would be fun just to throw in their bags. Harper, you probably couldn't pay her enough money to ever wear these out in public, but you know, playing around on the farm, she might. They're just fun. Cause I don't think these would fit the younger grand ladies because they still have way smaller feet. Harper and London, they're growing. And then they have these power stick deodorants out right now. Always nice to have. And these are nice little bottles to throw in a gym bag or even in your purse, in your locker, whatever it may be. And these are aluminum free, zero aluminum. And somebody had actually asked in one of my videos about like what what's the deal with aluminum free. I don't know much about it really. I'm not a doctor, but I, be I believe that aluminum is a possible trigger for breast cancer. So if you can find things that are, you know, deodorants that are aluminum free, pick those up. And please, if anybody knows, please comment down below. But yeah, I saw this and thought it was pretty cool. And this is in the scent Mint Cucumber, and it's a 1.8 ounce, and it is a roller ball. It has a nice clean scent. Like It doesn't smell like, um, what is the Bath and Body Works? Is it, oh, that's cucumber melon. This is mint cucumber. Very, just very nice, clean, not an overpowering scent on that, but very nice. And then this one, it looks like it would be more for men. This is Invisible Protection, roll-on aluminum-free deodorant in the scent Timber Musk. And it is also a 1.8 ounce rollerball. Very nice. Very nice. It's a little bit woodsy, but yet fresh. So we just picked up one of these to give it a try. Throw them in our gym bags. And I believe they had some other formulation scents as well, but we only picked up one of each of those. And then they have all of the bamboo 
utensils. I need to go through my drawer, my utensil drawer, and get rid of all the stuff that's just old and, you know, crusty. So I picked up some of these. And they are by Cooking Concepts. This one is the... Sorry, guys. This one is called the Bamboo Slotted Turner. It's like a little flipper. This one is the Spoon. This is Solid Spoon. And then this one, I'm assuming, is the Slotted Spoon. So I got one of each of those. And they also have, in that same area where these were hanging... They had ones with a, um, like a rubber handle. They were bamboo with like a rubber, it was either rubber or silicone, I'm not quite sure. I liked these better. I just, I thought these would work better, so I went ahead and grabbed one of each of these. And they also had the same thing, but it almost looked like a big fork shape. And I really don't know what you would use that for. So I just stuck with the ones that, that I know I use. And I do have these in my drawer already, but like I said, they're they're several years old now and they just need to go. I need to replace. And that's what I've been slowly working on here at the house. I don't make New Year's resolutions. I make to-do lists. Like at the end of December, I sit down and I write what needs done that I want to get done through the year. And one of my big things is organizing, decluttering, just getting rid of things that I don't use anymore passing them along to the kids if they need them or donating. And I've been slowly working on that. And one of my next things is going through my utensil drawer and my junk drawer. Do you guys have a junk drawer? I think everybody has a junk drawer. I have a little junk drawer that only has a couple of little plastic rectangle bins in, but I have a basket. It's my junk basket. I need to go through that and just I don't even know what's in there because it's just stuff, but it's all stuff that I usually end up needing and I don't want to get rid of it like shoelaces and the little felt pads that go underneath the chairs and all kind of randomness. So yeah, that's my, that's my goal for 2023 is to declutter, but these I need. So anyway, guys, that is it. I've talked your ear off enough today. I think that's it. I guess it was a small but mighty haul, right? I hope you guys are doing well. If you like this type of thing, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. You guys are the best. Have a great day, everybody. And I'll talk to you again here really soon. Peace.